In this series of Papyrus videos, I will show you a variety of applications other than just a release paper. Since Papyrus paper is so sturdy, you can use it for several designing techniques. Today you'll learn how to make a small picture holder or a sign holder. Do you happen to keep small pieces of papyrus paper? I do, and they come in handy for this project. Start with folding the divider for the center, which will create the slot for the sign or picture. The strip of papyrus should be as wide as your glass piece. In our case, 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters, and also long enough to fold it at least 6 times, the same height as your glass pieces. Cut off any extra paper and secure the end piece with a small piece of scotch tape. Yes, it will fire off without leaving any residue on your glass. Now we can start to assemble the stands. Add a few drops of tack gel to your papyrus shelf paper piece and place one rectangle for each stand on it. Add a line of tack gel through the center of your base glass and place the thin strip of glass on edge on the middle of the base piece. Now tack two pieces of glass together at a time. Those will create the outside walls of your stand. Place the packs of two to each side of your center glass piece and line them up with the edge of the base piece. Next you can slide the previously prepared papyrus pack in the center of the stands. Are you shaking your head and wonder what in the world is she doing there? Those two stands are way too narrow. They will fuse together. And yes, you're right. Unless we use another folded papyrus pack and place it in between the two stands. The next step is to assemble your stands on a kiln shelf and dam it with a few pieces of Kaiserly board. This board has the advantage that you won't have to deal with glass seepage between the board and the shelf. All you need is a strip of, you might have guessed it by now, papyrus paper. This strip will ensure that your glass won't need any cold working after firing. Wrap the papyrus paper strip around your glass setup and secure it with a piece of tape. Then set up the blocks of Kaiser Lee board around it. You will find the firing schedule at the very end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and will use some of the tips for your next project. Okay, I won't make you wait all night to see the finished project. Have a look how easy it is to disassemble and how handy they can be to display a sign next to your work or a picture on your desk. Please join us again in our next inspiring project video brought to you by the Techniclass team and Petra Kaiser.